Lord Brewers, we are grateful to you for your time here in the national manufacturing debate today and also for chairing the keynote session for this year's national manufacturing debate. Um, I would like to just extend some of the discussions we had this morning and um, ask your personal views on a couple of areas, um, especially with your um, you know, involvement in nanotechnology, for example. Um, le let me start with one particular question. How much do you think we are doing or not doing in creating a supply chain to support nanotechnology and revolution using nanotechnology? We're not doing quite a lot. Um, our nanoscience and basic technology is really very strong, mm -hmm. but as Victor was saying today, mm -hmm. we've not tried enough yet in my mind to concentrate on, on creating companies and SMEs and, and, and really driving this technology forward into applications. There's, uh, there's potential across the country to do this. Uh, and we're very good at doing a lot of the base stuff and getting our unique capabilities. Uh, but as usual, in a lot of the way we work, we have not been doing yet enough to seek things we can manufacture with mm -hmm. this knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, we have all the base there. Uh, I just hope we get on with it and do things like Victor's doing and actually making something that people are using. And I think that's really fundamental in creating that nanotechnology sector and developing supply chain. We need to create an environment where nanotechnology and, as a matter of fact, all new technology-based products find home in the UK. They don't have to go out to other countries for, for technology development. Exactly. Yeah. And I think one has to stage things today. One, a lot of, you know, and our big international companies are being successful there. But mm -hmm. if you're making a high technology product, I think you want to make it yourself mm -hmm. and, and build your first factories and, and, and plants uh, in the UK. Yes. So we really know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Because then, as in most sophisticated products, more happens in the evolution of the product over the years than happens almost in the original creation of it. Yeah. C can I move on to another little bit controversial area? We have today here TSB, Technology Strategy Board, launching their high value manufacturing strategy. We have seen EPSRC, Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, actually publishing their forward research strategy in manufacturing, but there are views about a national strategy on manufacturing. What's your view, whether we need one, and if we did, is there any hope that this government will come up with a national strategy which coordinates among departments to come up with one document which drives UK forward? Well, that's a grand dream, uh, but probably not a practical dream. I think we have to help them do that somehow. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was very interesting what uh, Martin said about uh, Richard Parry Jones's role with the mm -hmm. Automotive Council, yep. you know. And, and the best way to bring, to get the broad strategy is for people to work together to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm immersed in this in the, the KTN for Transport, where we've been trying to bring at least three parts, the automotive, rail, and marine people together. Mm -hmm. And they're coming together. And then perhaps the catapults are a way to help trigger that. I think to ask government to do it, well, government should be insisting that it's done mm -hmm. without them doing it themselves somehow. That's a very good point. Uh, I mean, you raise a... I don't know how... Con well, it is controversial. I, I mean, there were some very strong statements, weren't there? Uh, from uh, uh, John and Tata, was it, about the lack of any coordination in things like offshore wind. Yes. Yep. You know, where we have a grand national strategy, mm -hmm. but a, a sort of overall energy strategy, but none of that, the, an essential part of that strategy should have been that if we're going to go that way, let's make sure that we are building more than 50% of these things. Sure. And we have the capability to do it. Mm -hmm. So from strategy to actually implementing and coordinating 
actions to make things happen so that we can bring back some of the manufacturing in the country, as well as actually creating new growth in new sectors. And one of the sectors we heard today in the nanotechnology area, another sector which often there is some exhibition going on here, it's around optics, machining of optics, polishing mm. of optics for next generation of applications in telescope and other areas. So that's another area where we should be pushing hard in terms of creating new job opportunities. We're very good at a lot of those, those scientific instrumentation things, mm -hmm. and, and you're absolutely right. Uh, we have been strong. We still have sectors that are very strong, companies like Oxford Instruments and others that mm -hmm. have been supplying things to our big synchrotrons and other parts and telescopes. Yeah. This is an area we could be truly excellent. It's an area identified by the National Academy of Engineering in America yep. as one of the great roles of engineers in the next century is to be building the sophisticated scientific instruments we need to push forward our science. Yes, we should have strategies. We should pick some of these areas and then try to build a complete strategy that includes as an essential part that we manufacture, that we have that as a target from the beginning of our, our strategy. Okay, my final comment and question for you. Today we are, we are talking about how manufacturing supply chain could support growth. What's your view about the future? What's the ambition here? How are we going to take UK manufacturing forward by developing SMEs? We've got to link it all up, I think, as was said mm -hmm. this morning in that excellent uh, mm -hmm. set of eight lectures and speakers that you brought along. The supply chain must have a target. There must be somewhere it's supplying for a start. Yes, there must be jobs. So we've and got orders. to have the tier one manufacturers there mm -hmm. and the tier one suppliers. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to really join it all together and we've got to support the SMEs. And then we've got, to, we've got also to support the transfer of the technology, the, the science-based stuff out of the universities into the SMEs, help the SMEs grow to the extent that they can really be essential suppliers to uh, the large volume manufacturers. Mm -hmm. But it's all a matter of joining up. We, we can't just concentrate on the SMEs. We can't just let the big yep. companies get away with it. We can't just do the science base. We've got to challenge that overall strategy plan. Now, that's a very good point, mate. Thank you very much for that. And we will be publishing some of your views. And a final report will be published from the National Manufacturing Debate soon. I think we get some very valuable stuff out of what was said this morning. Thank you. Okay, right. Thank you.